morning. It's a new day. Um, we just got back to our hotel. We just went out to grab a couple of things, but I swear to God, Mother Nature always hits at the most inconvenient times because whether it was my graduation, my first day of work, and now the one week that I'm traveling internationally, of course, my period decides to come early. But I thought I'd show you something really cool. In Japan, if you buy anything, um, they use a lot of plastic bags, unfortunately. But all the bags that they give you are white, the normal like white plastic bag. But I went to go buy tampons, and if you buy feminine hygiene products, then the bag is actually black so that your like contents are not revealed. So I thought that was really thoughtful of them, but I was honestly low-key kind of worried that they wouldn't have tampons because I know in Asia, like most people use pads, but we got them. Okay, we left the Shinjuku area. Now we're, where are we? Where are we now? Ueno. We're in Ueno. <laughs> and um, there's just a lot of like cute little shops with little things. And this is the kind of shopping I like to do. Honestly, the worst part about Shinjuku is that they didn't have any green tea ice cream. So here we are. We got it. Oh, tastes like heaven, honestly. If there's one thing I can recommend in Japan, it's definitely the green tea self serve. Hello, I'm very sick, so I'm going to sound like a man in this voiceover, but there was very loud music in the background, but look at these very, very cute animals. This one was the one that I said I was for sure going to take home, but these animals were all like $2,000. Oh my goodness. Please adopt. Here is our new hotel room. Let's take a look. Let's see if we have a view. It's so pretty outside. Oh my goodness. I am literally gaining weight as we speak because everything is so good. And my mom, my freaking mom will not finish her portions. So every time we order two meals and I'm eating like a meal and a half. So here I am gaining weight and here she is losing weight. Okay, many haul of the things that we bought today. First thing we have is Breakfast for tomorrow, so my favorite Japanese milk, like I said, milk in Japan just doesn't taste the same, so me and my mom will take the stomach irritation for some really good milk. This is my mom's purchase. It's a little bag with little strings on the side. Clearly I didn't buy that. And then my mom is easily convinced when it comes to buying stuff we probably don't need. We have these 3D massagers. So we ended up with three of these. My mom's already using the big one. These look so weird. <laughs> best purchase of the day got bitten by a bunch of bugs in japan i'll show you there's a bunch here i don't know why i got bitten on my hands like there's literally no meat there um and then i'll show you these bug bites oh my goodness they're so scary but i am really sensitive to bug bites and so i swell up like crazy the last thing is i forgot what i bought it's just this like really cute plaid skirt um and then you tie a little bow on the top yeah i think that's pretty much the big buys of today oh last thing my mom purchased this bag this is the bag that every asian woman on earth owns and my mom already has 27 of these but here's the 28th one i actually think it's really cute all right i'm gonna go sleep so i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> all right this is the final hotel that we're staying in this is the only one that has a nice little couch and lounge area have a nice big tv of course asian people always have a hot water boiler our fridge air purifier all of our hotels that we've stayed in have actually had this already um we are staying in ikebukuro which is which has a bunch of like cute little shops and stuff nearby so we'll probably go grab some dinner in a second and then here is the bed this is i don't know it kind of looks in between a full and a twin so a half full i don't know um and then here is the bathroom japan has all electric toilets like 
I don't think I've seen like a normal toilet in Japan, so high tech definitely for sure. Today we are going to the Studio Ghibli Museum. Oh my goodness, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that it was such a hassle to try to get these tickets. But I'm really excited. Um, my neighbor Totoro is one of my favorites, so I just can't wait to go and take pictures and stuff. Today's actually our last full day in Tokyo, so mm, it's heartbreaking. We've been here for, or we will be here for eight days, but really it's more like six days minus the travel days. But the time has just flown by. Yesterday, um, I couldn't show you guys, but I went to Harajuku. It was so gorgeous, and I got this really pretty hair bow. Um, and I'm living for it. I'm living for this like princess vibe. I have been searching all over Japan for this. It's called Wallabi, but it is a summer like little mochi thing. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like clear, um, and then there's kinako, which is like green powder. I think that's what they call it. On top, we're gonna try to eat this right now. We are on our way to Ghibli. We Ghibli? Ghibli. We're on our way to Ghibli and now it's like a mile walk so ready to break a sweat. <laughs> We're here. Oh my goodness. It is so so cute. There's a long line of people here waiting to take a picture but look this is right by the main entrance known better that they don't even allow any pictures or filming in there. Then we were going to eat at the Totoro Cafe, but the line was long AF and we all know I don't have the patience for that. So we settled for some takoyaki instead, which are octopus balls. Um, these are fish flakes on top. It always scares me that they move on their own. Today's the last day. Um, we are walking around Ikebukuro up here. We're walking around Ikebukuro. Um, it's like 6 in the morning, but it's so gorgeous. We're just taking some street photos and we have to check out by 10. So right after we finish this, we'll go back and pack our luggages. I was dying to get a picture with these vending machines and my mom was like, why do you want a picture with the vending machines? And then we started taking pictures and it is morning rush hour and all these local people are looking at me like I'm crazy like why is she taking a picture with the vending machine? <laughs> Wait, hello? Where are you at? My mom doesn't want to be shown right now because she's not camera ready. <laughs> please, please. So fun fact, in Japan you can't walk and eat at the same time or drink. You can't walk and eat and drink at the same time. So you have to stand by the side of the road. <laughs> Usually you go to a park and sit down or something or you stand on the street like out of people's way, um, especially during morning rush hour. And we're gonna eat our nikuman, which is like a <laughs> pork bun. <laughs> this is our fourth breakfast of today, by the way. The mess we're dealing with. Here's one luggage, here's the second luggage. And here's the third luggage, and we actually have another luggage even inside that luggage. But now we gotta pack and make sure that everything around here is gonna fit. Okay, you guys, here is the final product. So we were able to close that one, obviously. This one we haven't packed yet, but this is everything that needs to go in here. So I'm gonna do my best to try to close this right now. Ready? Treaty. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna have my Asian mom do it because she's probably the better candidate to do this. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> I don't know. You're going to try, mom. Like, just try. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> お尻上がらない。お母さん上がってはい。もう今日は完全に気。パンにパイズ。いいな。
heavy enough, so my mom needs to do this. This part. I'll let her do the honors. I literally didn't hit record on the best footage of this entire trip, but my mom sat on and it instantly closed. We had no problems closing the luggage. So here we are. Here's the baby. But I think it's going to be too heavy <laughs> once we get to the airport. So there's two luggages in here. We might end up having to take it out to prevent it from being overweight. And it was 10 a.m., but we decided it was time for lunch because it was our last day in Japan and we wanted to try Ichiran, which is this famous... Um, Japanese ramen place. You basically get your own one-person booth and you focus on the flavor. Ramen was pretty good. Freaking exhausted, you guys. It is currently, let's see what time it is. It's 12.30, but we are waiting for the sky train. I think I'm gonna sleep like a baby on this flight. I should arrive at 10 a.m. in San Francisco, so if I sleep on this flight, then I hopefully won't have so much jet lag. And something really exciting is happening next week too, so I need to make sure that. Get my time zones fixed real quick. This is going to conclude our Japan trip to Tokyo. We spent a total of eight days in the city and I was honestly worried that it was gonna to be too many days because normally people only spend like two or three days. But since my mom lived in Tokyo for so long, she knows the area so well and we are able to go do all the touristy things as well as the stuff that um, only the local people would know. So that was really, really nice. My plane is right there. I had a really good vacation and part of me never wants to leave Japan and it's really sad that I had to give up my Japanese citizenship for my American citizenship but part of me is also really ready to go home and just be productive and be able to get all my stuff done. I have a long list of things waiting for me for when I get home. We just ate so much good food and next week's video is probably going to be me trying to get back in shape because I ate so much food but it was all good food it was all good times and i kept telling myself like once i go back to the united states i won't be able to eat this food anyways so it's okay for me to eat it right now so we hopped on that flight at narita it was a super empty flight most people got their own row here's my mom playing games on her phone as always she really gets to it right away candy crush is her all-time favorite Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, turn on that notification bell, and as always, I'll see you next week. Bye, friends.